welcome to Inside of New England's Therapeutic Talk. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Hello, I am Candace, and you are watching Insight of New England's Therapeutic Talk. I am a licensed professional counselor. I started this channel so that I could talk about therapeutic interventions. I share story times, most of them are around racism, and I also have guest speakers come and talk about things that they're doing in the community. I believe firmly that community work is the dream work. So today I am just going to show you guys a couple of little arts and craft things that I am doing with some of the kids that I work with for Valentine's Day and things that you can do in your own home for Valentine's Day with your kids or uh, kids that you work with or whatever do them yourself okay <laughs> all right so let me just get right into this so one really really fun thing that we can do with our kids that is really inexpensive to do is I got these little hearts at the dollar store this weekend and um, we can just decorate them right um, so what I was thinking about doing with these hearts is um, we could, you could paint them, you could color them, you could put like little rhinestones or something on them. Um, and what I was thinking is, um, um, the kids can kind of, uh, write their feelings on these hearts. Uh, they could write their names. They could give them to a family member. I mean, there's, the list could just go on and on and on and on and on about what you could do with them. Right. So, um, for example, I am going to, I'm going to draw on my heart right now. So let's just say, you know, what's one of the most important things? And, you know, the hearts are for the first responders as well. So love, right? So everybody needs to love one another. So that is going to be my little drawing on my heart just to make it like really simple. And then another thing that I was thinking with these hearts that we could do is I just picked this up at Walmart. Um, magnet strips, they were a dollar for the pack. <laughs> it's a pretty big pack too. And then you separate them. And what's wonderful about these magnets is that all I have to do is take the, um, take the magnet, the strip off, and then it's got the glue on it already. And so what I would do is I would um, tell, you know, my client, um, just um, take your little purple heart. Here's my purple heart and um, go to your kitchen. I'm in my kitchen. So now I can just put um, my purple heart on the refrigerator. It's really nice to have like um, a heart on the refrigerator. Um, you know, it can remind you of love, remind you to love yourself. Um, I really think that that's um, a good place for uh, kids. And I tell a lot of um, the people that I work with to put like these little things on your refrigerator. It's a place where you go, you got to eat every day, right? So <laughs> uh, that's a great reminder um, to be positive. And so another thing is you can grab a piece of tin foil from your kitchen or um, buy some at Walmart or something, draw a little heart on it and just uh, draw her and just decorate it like with different colors and stuff. So I'm gonna get some different colors to add to this. Um, right now it's just a black heart. <laughs> so, but black is my favorite color. Um, so black and purple are my favorite colors. And so I am just going to, you know, just color uh, black and I actually have some purple paint so I'm going to just you know I just colored it um, and now it is a black heart uh, on the foil which is kind of cool and you could even cut the foil out and I just I'm just gonna like dab my finger because I just want to make like a little uh, happy face um, so it's a happy face, um, heart, foil, you can do all different kinds of colors. Um, of course, you know, cause I'm a therapist, I'm going to like, you know, recommend talking about feelings while we're doing this or telling a story or talking about people that we have in our life who are positive. 
and we love for Valentine's um, just so the kids can do something happy. Okay, so they can decorate. I mean, this could be a whole picture. Um, this could be a Valentine card for someone. It could be whatever you want to make it to be. Okay, it's Art. like just talking about feelings and doing like a little project like this. Another thing um, with the paint, and this is something that I got at the dollar store as well, um, is this, and this could actually be end up being a magnet too. So I just, um, uh, I was going to make these because inside of New England, like our theme really is sunflowers. So I was totally going to just um, use these flowers. And um, I am totally finger painting because why not? <laughs> um, so I just take, um, and I have paint brushes, but I just, why not, you know, just use my fingers? I don't know. <laughs> why not just have some fun, right? So I am just gonna color this wooden, it's like a little wooden thing, and I just color it, um, yellow for because the sunflower theme that we have with inside of new england and um i um don't really i'm not like the best artist in the world but i was thinking like i would just let this dry and then um maybe write um insight of new england on it and um maybe i'll show you guys a picture of it later like just write inside of New England on it and then I was going to put um on the other side um a magnet on it and it could be like a little magnet and then um you know when I'm out uh meeting people and stuff I could give these out um and that would kind of but you could make you could buy these I mean I think it came like 10 for a dollar at the dollar store so it's like 10 for a dollar um and they could be little magnets um and flowers are good for uh, Valentine's Day as well. So, um, you know, you can put the little magnet strip on the back of it, just like it uh, did with the heart. And then, um, you know, you could do whatever with it. I mean, because I like purple so much, I am just going to, with this, I just want to, um, with this one. And then when it dries, I'll put um, inside of New England on it. Or my name, um, you know, you could, you could do that. Um, I have been self-making a lot of my um, promotional items for Inside of New England right now because I um, feel like it's just more personable for me to give when I meet people. You know, I give them the stress ball, or um, um, you know, it's something they can use, and it's something that I personally handmade, so it's like really special. Um, so. <laughs> So here, um, little polka dots on the flower. And I mean, you can decorate these whatever way you want. I think they did have hearts too, but I bought the flowers because uh, some flowers um, are our thing. They're, they're like my favorite thing and Suzanne's favorite, one of Suzanne's favorite things too. So we really like sunflowers. So um, yeah, so that is um, the little, I was thinking these could make really good magnets um, to put on your fridge. Hey, so this is a worksheet um, that there's some like different questions and topic ideals that I've been talking with some of the kids um, around love and Valentine's Day. And this is like a little puzzle. Um, so they could print it out and um, make a puzzle and they could write feelings or different things inside of it or draw pictures. Um, and then they have their own little personal heart puzzle. Um, and this is a little like paper towel um roll um owl or it could be a cat or a dog and these are like little rocks um heart rocks um i here in new england it's snowing so we i can't even get to a rock to make one of those but there's a photo and then this is um shaving cream hearts um so you put paint and shaving cream and you can make hearts with that um this is a little paper heart uh sculpture and um, another heart sculpture with paper that uh, the kids could make. So I found all these ideals on Pinterest. So I hope that peace and love is upon you at all times. Uh, stay safe and stay well.
and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.